For the next seven days, I'm diving headfirst into the world of gamification. I'll start by figuring out what it even is, then break down a case study on an app with a certain owl mascot who's, well, let's just say kind of intense. After that, I'm building our own app, going from onboarding all the way to the final product in Figma. Spoiler, it did not go as planned, but if you want to peek at all my stress-infused Figma files, you can grab them in the first link below. So what is gamification? The first app that comes to mind is Duolingo, which takes something notoriously hard, like learning a new language, and turns it into a game. Let's go over the five key things I learned. After some digging, I found out there's way more gamification in apps than you'd expect. LinkedIn, for example, turns filling out your profile into an achievement hunt. Apparently, it triggers our need for completion, though, let's be honest, it could just be borderline OCD. Even credit card points are gamified. You get points, then redeem them for... stuff. Keychain, anyone? Most gamification hinges on a central currency. Duolingo uses XP, while apps like Todoist have Karma. These give you a sense of progress and unlock cool features, pushing you to keep going. Gamification gives you visibility over what you've accomplished and what's still left. Take Exorcism, a coding platform, which in fact has nothing to do with demon banishing, it shows you exactly how much of a language you've completed and how much left you have to go. Yikes. Gamification often comes with a social aspect. Fitness apps, Strava's, leaderboards, and public badges are the perfect example. You can see how you stack up against your friends and maybe stop staring at your Figma file. In gamification, rewards matter, but no one cares if the reward is meaningless. Apps tie their rewards to real goals, and Duolingo has got this down to a science. Besides having a slightly threatening mascot, Duolingo is arguably one of the more complex and effective gamification and guilt tripping systems out there. So, there's only two activities you can do on Duolingo, which is to participate in challenges or complete lessons. Completing both results in gaining XP, the central gamifying currency. You can't buy anything with XP, but it does raise your rank on the leaderboard and unlock rewards in the form of daily quest chests. These chests typically contain the second gamifying currency, which are gems, or modifiers that can be bought with gems, like extra time or more hearts. The loss of a heart is the punishment for getting a question in a lesson wrong. By doing at least one lesson per day, you keep your streak alive, but don't worry, Duolingo will remind you about it. Incessantly. Achievements are earned on milestones like gaining a certain amount of XP in a day, and are accompanied with a gift of gems. I'm sure I'm missing features, but that's the most basic overview I could come up with. So, a lot going on with Duolingo, but it more or less follows our rules from day one. I feel like we've got a pretty good handle on gamification. Let's start making some cool things. I got to work researching different applications we could gamify. A task manager or learning platform was high on my list, but had already been done very well by other companies. Eventually, I landed on a gamified money management tool called Finbase. I don't know, it was between that and stash cred. So, I think I made the right choice. It's not my fault Stephen King took Pennywise. That would've been a great name. Anyways, what I'm envisioning is that the user would connect their daily banking app to our interface so we can pull data into our application and probably break several EU privacy laws in the process. Users could then set goals like saving for a new phone or a trip. Every time the user put money aside, they would earn Finbits, the central currency of our savings tool, and continue their streak. Completing goals would also result in more Finbits with the amount depending on the size of the goal. The Finbits would then be used to rank them on a local leaderboard to account for currency and income differences. Thinking about this from a realistic perspective, most people have one savings account, so we need to make virtual accounts so people can allocate the total amount to various goals. Importantly, analytics about their spending and savings would play a critical role in data visualization. Challenges would be cool to incorporate, but probably more importantly would be an education section about financial literacy, like saving, investing, or getting a mortgage. To work in some small perks, we could have different badges, like one for saving 30 days in a row in the app. I'm excited for this plan. Let's see how it goes. After spending far too long trying to create a logo, this is what I came up with. We're starting off with wireframing some pretty simple onboarding screens, welcoming the user, prompting them to connect their bank account, and reassuring them we won't steal their money. Before we start gamifying, let's show them the value of the app by giving them a few key insights into their past spending, like a breakdown of where they spend and the average amount spent per month that they can swipe through. We'll also need a screen asking them to set a savings goal, if they've saved some already, and a slider to adjust the period of time that they give themselves to complete it. For the color palette, I'm taking some inspiration from the Wise color palette, and working in some purple too. Let's get into the time lapse.
right, so this is everything that we have so far, and I think it's looking pretty good. So I will see you tomorrow where we're gonna get started on the actual app itself. Okay, so it's currently the next day and I've been taking a look at our design and I think we gotta switch to dark mode. So I'm gonna make those changes and I'll be back right away. Okay, now it's looking good. So let's get into the app. On the actual app itself, we're gonna have four tabs, goal overview, leaderboard, spending and saving analytics, and the education tab. Let's hop into another time-lapse and get it done. Okay, so you know how I referenced at the start of the video how something did not go well? Well, this is it. This is what not, did not go well, because I kept deleting files, I kept misplacing them, things weren't turning out, so it took me a really, really long time to record this. But I'm happy that I did, because I think it's helpful for you guys to be able to actually see the process as we go through it. Um, yeah, just instead of jumping to the final um, piece, is showing you everything that we build is, I hope, helpful. So let me know down in the comments if it is. Now, you might notice that throughout this, my outfit changes, and that's because it took a lot longer than I actually anticipated. I thought it would take four, five, maybe six hours. Nope, it took me three whole days to put this together. Um, I know, only four screens, but there's a lot going on in each screen. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get back into the video. All right, taking a good look at our app, this is what we come up with. So this is our main page here where you can set new goals and view your current goals. This part actually slides along and you can see um, how many more rewards you get. The next page, we put the fin bits that you earn over here into use with this leaderboard. So it's quite like Duolingo's actually, where it uh, has a promotion range. So if you're above this range, you get promoted to the next league, which is currently a uh, question mark. We haven't discovered it yet. Um, and then if you're in this lower section, nothing happens. And if you're below that, you get put back into this stone league. Over here is our analytics, and it's pretty straightforward. You can choose between saving and spending, and then daily, weekly, or monthly. Here we have monthly, and we have our spending target here, and the times that we overspend are in this purple color. Down below, we can see our recent transactions, and then insights as to when new bill payments are going to come up, so then we can prepare for those. Over to the right here is the education section where you can search for lessons or click through on one of these. And taking a quick quiz at the end will make you earn fin bits, which will of course make you go up on the leaderboard. So it is a pretty simple system that we have here, but I did learn a lot about gamification by going through this process. And that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy it, work your magic down below. And like I said, you can get all of my assets for free from the first link in the description.